Admiral Seabass here for Italy turn number five. They have $33. They are spending it on three infantry, one fighter, one destroyer, one sub, and a tech roll. Italy has improved shipyards, so they buy naval units for one less, which is why they can afford to do that. Only have one attack, and that is here into Iraq, where I'm taking uh, a um, mechanized and a artillery from Transjordan, along with a bomber from Greece, and we're going to try to take Iraq. So that's two at two and one at four. Just looking for one hit, which we got. So UK infantry shoots back. And they miss. So that's good for Italy because that'll give them a bonus. That'll give them two bucks plus a bonus of two bucks for controlling Iraq. So we'll put that there. And UK goes down to Italy goes up to. And that's it for the combat moves. So for non-combat. Uh, we're going to do this. Um, we're going to abandon the Suez because we need to get all this Navy back here to defend against America potentially coming in. And these two transports are going to come there and they're going to bring these two tanks, put them into Rome right there. We'll chip that guy out. Turtling a little bit here with Italy, for sure. Uh, this guy will fly back to Greece. This guy's dead. Excuse me for my reach there. And then... Um, probably going to move... Uh, I think it really matters, so I'll probably not move anything within Italy and just go ahead and place units. So, oh, I didn't do my uh, wartime economy tech roll. I always forget to do that. So we're looking for seven or higher. Seven or higher. Hey, we got it. So Italy now has wartime economy, which means they'll roll a d6 at the end of every turn and add that to their income. So let's go ahead and place these units. Um, grab all these here. Take them over. So let's put these right here. Just a stage. Got that air base there, so we definitely want the airplane to be built in the minor factory in Rome. Um, definitely want all three infantry, or two of the infantry to be built down here. One up here. And we'll say that that factory up there builds these two naval units. Sub and the destroyer. So... Look, Italy's got a navy of a battleship, a cruiser, a destroyer, and a sub. And they got one fighter they can scramble in. That's going up against a battle cruiser, a cruiser, a destroyer, a fighter, a tactical, an advanced sub, and a bomber. So Italy's a little behind, but enough that it's going to hurt the Americans if they come. So uh, that was the point. Make the Americans make some choices so that's the Italian turn so Italy will collect $18 plus two bonus for Iraq plus a d6 Ho! Oh, so $26 for Italy that's pretty good so 20 Five and six. Americans won't be liking that too much because that's 26 more dollars that Italy can spend against the Americans. 
And the Americans last turn only spent, well, they spent a little more than 26. So Italy's not quite keeping pace, but probably enough to keep the Americans at bay. We'll see what happens. So, and uh, no convoy operations that I can see. So uh, that's it for Italy turn number five. This is Admiral Seabass signing off.